My name is Dr. Amory Grimmer, and I'm one of the co-founders of Ample Biosolutions with Dr. Peter Lipsky. I'm here to talk to you about precise personalized medicine, and we do that through genomics. We're bringing a blood test to the market expected in 2022 called Lugene, specifically for the autoimmune disease, lupus, to determine disease status, predict patient flares, and identify best drug options. So your genes have a lot to tell you. And our platform and technology, and very specifically Lugene, the blood test translates. We're able to identify a patient's genomic fingerprint to provide personalized precision medicine. I'm showing a double helix here. We all know about DNA and genetics, which is what we inherit that doesn't change throughout our life, except for very special circumstances. What Ample's technology is focused on is RNA, gene expression, which is dynamic, which can change at any moment in time, and is really poised to be monitored by a blood test, which is a highway of the immune system. So lupus, it's an autoimmune disease of about a million and a half patients in the US. And it's an unmet medical need. Both patients and their physicians really desire an evidence-based way to monitor their disease status and to predict what drug options might be best for them. On average, it's been published that it takes at least five years for a lupus patient to get on a drug regimen that works for them. And sometimes it never happens. Along the way, there can be organ damage, kidneys needing dialysis, transplants, but lupus can affect any organ of the body. So large untapped market in the billions, and this is based on current needs of lupus patients and their doctors, on average getting four blood tests a year covered by insurance. But these blood tests are very non-specific things that are measured that have been shown not to determine disease status or be able to accurately in an evidence-based way suggest best drug options. Lugene does exactly that. And I'm gonna get into the details of the Ample's genomic platform, bioinformatic tools, and machine learning AI algorithms. We're able to do this because we've generated the world's largest database of lupus gene expression profiles with deep clinical data, more than 10,000. This is on par with what was used to bring the cancer test to market, the precision medicine, although lupus is a lot smaller disease. Importantly, the platform is disease agnostic, and Ample has already demonstrated both in oncology, infectious disease, and a number of other autoimmune and inflammatory uh, conditions. So myself, I'm a PhD immunologist, I ran a lab at the NIH, recently inducted into the International Society of Business Fellows with my co-founder, Dr. Peter Lipsky. He's a physician scientist and a lot of global pharma experience, as well as administrative of large organizations. We've welcomed the Alliance to the team as our chief financial officer and Dr. Bill Ricketts, who's our VP of lab testing. And he's brought multiples molecular tests to the market in cancer and other diseases. In a few minutes, I'm going to talk about the prototype of lupus, which we've used with our pharma partners, and I'm listing just a few of them on the bottom of this slide. Ample Biosolutions is located in Charlottesville, Virginia. I'm a double who. I'm showing you a photo of the team. We're located right downtown. And I love this quote from Michael Watson. Culture is an organization's immune system. And that's true even more so today than it was in pre-COVID times. We have a hybrid environment of work from home as well as in the office. So what is the problem that Lugene addresses? Patients in general, except for a small number of oncology patients, 
don't receive precise personalized therapy. And autoimmunity, in particular lupus, this really is absolutely the case. So we put together a team to bring this to the market. We're a privately held company and we've raised about 10 million of non-dilutive funding to date. We're in the middle of a convertible note round that will be closing uh, quite shortly here and going into our equity raise. So as I mentioned before, we've used Ample's genomic platform, bioinformatic tools and machine learning algorithms to provide services to pharma. We call this Lugene Analytics, and we have 13 pharma customers to date, everything from working with preclinical animal models all the way through real-time patient enrichment and stratification in clinical trials. The idea is to use the gene expression profile from a blood sample or biopsy from a tissue to predict which patients have the best chance of predicting to the drug being tested, either in a preclinical model or during a clinical trial enrollment. What we're bringing and expect to bring to the market in 2022 is the Luigi and the lab test. And I'm going to dig in a little bit deeper to that. That's a blood test that physicians will be able to order just like any other blood test, like cholesterol, into a special tube that's used in oncology. Uh, this will be shipped to our CLIA certified laboratory in California to examine the gene expression, RNA. And we're doing that by RNA-seq, a technique that allows us to examine all 20,000 RNAs in every cell in the blood. So you can imagine this is trillions of data points and you need some way to analyze that data and to deliver it to a physician and their patient in an evidence-based way that's actionable. And Lugene, we expect, will do just that. Ample wholly owns all of its technologies, and we work with Wilson Sonsini as well as Evershed Sutherland to file all of our patents. So getting into the details, and I know part of this talk is about machine learning and AI, so I'm going to take a couple minutes to talk about what the blood test does and how machine learning makes that possible. So the concept is every person has a unique profile of expressed genes, 20,000 genes that can be on and off in every cell of your body at any moment in time. Think of a light board at a rock concert. You're seeing at what's going on on stage with all of the lights, but making up that beautiful lighting of the band or on and off switches uh, that we don't realize unless we dig deep. The same analogy can be made to gene expression. Here I'm showing you a heat map. This is a common way to look at gene expression where blue is down or cold, red is up or hot. Left to right are patients. I'm showing you about 1,500 of our 10,000 here. If I showed you all 10,000, you wouldn't be able to see it. And up and down, every line is one of Ample's proprietary tools. That together gives a genomic fingerprint. The goal is to provide evidence so patients and physicians can get to a point where a patient is blue or stable in their disease. Red is like a red alert. There are multiple issues going on that could be addressed by multiple therapies. And in the middle is an example of why lupus is so complex to treat, as there are many subsets of patients. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Every tool that Ample has developed is a packet of information, a group of genes that predicts the cell type involved. Is it a B cell secreting antibodies? Is the cell proliferating? Is it dying? What's the pathway, such as TNF and the biologics, that will address that? The bottom line is this will come to the physician and the patient in a report. I showed you before, every up and down is one patient. I flipped that sideways. Summarizing the results, relating it to a standard disease index called SLEDAY that rheumatologists use currently for lupus patients and providing evidence-based therapy choices for doctors and their physicians to discuss. 
What is machine learning? The bottom line is machine learning or algorithms that can be programmed to be able to allow the prediction of information. So what does it do? It classifies new objects and predicts new values. And I'm just gonna show you two slides for the scientists in the group. Uh, you can look up the papers. The bottom line is if it, you look at the genes one by one or group by group, across the board, there are very few individual genes that are in common. But if you're looking at groups of genes, pathways such as TNF, proliferation, cell type death, then you can make very accurate predictions. All of this work has been published and I'm showing you the heat map I showed you before and using Ample's machine learning algorithms. You can see that a very big picture, we can predict groups of patients or we can predict down to the individual patient. We use a variety of standard machine learning algorithms to do this. And we've also developed our own that we've covered with patents. So the bottom line is the machine learning is the heart that allows Ample's genomic platform and bioinformatic tools to translate information from a blood sample or a tissue biopsy, those 20,000 genes in every cell, and to condense it down to an evidence-based recommendation for best therapy and disease status. So bottom line, it's a standard blood draw. And you can definitely see that the goal is for patients to be in the blue or cold area where their disease is stable. Currently, it takes about five years on average for a lupus patient to get to the state, if ever. And there's often a lot of organ damage along the way. When patients are in states where something needs to be adjusted, it's expected that Lugene, the blood test, will provide an evidence based way to do this in a sample report by summarizing what's going on in terms of cell type, what the cells are doing, the pathways, and the drugs that may be appropriate. Ample Biosolutions, your genes have a lot to tell you. We can translate using our genomic platform, bioinformatic tools, and machine learning algorithms. Whether you're a pharma or a biotech company that has gene expression data that you need translated, anything from preclinical models all the way through real-time selection of clinical trials, or whether you're a primary care doctor or a rheumatologist working with your patient to find an evidence-based way to suggest therapies. Ample Biosolutions identifies your genomic fingerprint to provide personalized precision medicine. I'm Amory Grammer. Thank you for your time.